What you are about to see is a, a film document about a chapter in my life uh, living in a, this place known as Dog Patch, Santa Fe. There's a lot of birds that come to visit me and I'm a sculptor and I, I've been living and working in this place for close to five years now. But um, it's a chapter in my life. I'm, uh, I've realized that I've outgrown this space. It's time for me to move on. But before I do, I want to welcome you as my guest in this little world that I've um, developed and, and grown and progressed in. Uh, let's have a little bit of tea, uh, Moroccan style, uh, because I'm a Bohemian uh, and, and influenced by many uh, customs. This is a custom my mother, who, who's from the Mediterranean area, Spanish Morocco. And uh, so we're having uh, tea, Moroccan style, and, and let's get comfortable. You're in Santa Fe, New Mexico. Let's relax. I've explored a number of archetypes, uh, the human figure for sure, uh, and I've sculpted with canvas and wire, apply oil, it's oil on canvas and wire, and I've also done w work with desert cedar that I harvest from the area around me. I've been able to do this work uh, in this space and come to a realization that my ideas uh, are important and could speak to the world of modern art and could speak to society uh, on a contemporary level in, in different layers of uh, activity. Modernism uh, has grown to, as a label for art, has grown into, there has been what's described as postmodernism, is the label that has described the progress of art. But postmodernism is, uh, it's beginning to, as a label, be kind of uh, cease to function as a viable label. So I've uh, the ideas that I, I'm, what you're going to hear while you watch my work being documented in here is uh, what I call the supermodern. Supermodernism to me is something that I've labeled that has to do with super consciousness, which is the contact with the spiritual zone. And in, in these very pleasant natural surroundings, outside of Santa Fe, I've been able to tune in to all of us. We all have a spiritual zone we can tune into. My work comes from the, the subconscious. It comes from, from the regular consciousness. But when you contact with the spiritual zone, that's known as super consciousness. So I'm, I'm taking super and applying it to the modernist movement, postmodernism, and now what I've have labeled as super modernism. And uh, I use archetypes and establish archetypes. Uh, the latter is a form that known to humanity since people lived in trees and saw vines and put them together and climbed on this ladder so they could negotiate with gravity. Uh, uh, the, and then just like the astronaut who had to put down a ladder down to the surface of the moon the latter is a very important element, essential element in material culture, civilization, the building of civilization, the rescue of civilization, and uh, the wars. Uh, their ladders are used for uh, almost every function. So I'm I'm taking it as an archetype, so that the ladder can is a form that sculpturally can. Um, evoke a spiritual uh, concept 
or a spiritual quest that actually are the gesture towards that. So the letters are, 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 have been an important development that I've reached here in this space. I work outside, I have room, bring the desert cedar that I harvest around me. Here it grows all over Santa Fe, really. And uh, it's a great material, because art matters. Art matters to me. And what, what you're hearing is our concepts about um, what I've defined as the super modern. Uh, I'm using canvas and wire. This is oil on aluminum and aluminum wire. Oil on linen and aluminum wire is, uh, I've been able to explore that just in this space. Now inside you can see, you know, it's a little, it's a small space, you know, but I've managed to explore my art and I uh, relax. My parents are musical, uh, very supportive, and I got lessons on uh, seven years of lessons on the accordion, and this is how I. Uh, soothe my spirit and uh, get in tune with the spiritual concepts that um, influence my work. This piece is very important because the letters are, are integrated into this material I'm, uh, medium I'm exploring that I've invented and I've also added wings to the ladder and uh, that has a special reference, I think, to what I want to be known as the super modern. And large ones uh, would be, could be done in bronze or that's, as a maquette shows. But I'm also um, a dress person, I draw, and uh, I've done murals in the past. And I'm in tune with my cultural self, which is comes from the Spanish American uh, culture, which is very prevalent here, and well, which started Santa Fe. This is about the tradition of building with adobe, adobe brick, uh, with adobe mud and straw. There's the straw the Europeans brought, the Indians brought the earth and the water shows activity. Uh, this is a mural cartoon for an epic mural about this tradition of building with adobe in New Mexico that I would like to do because it, it uh, honors a part of New Mexico that there have been a lot of books written about New Mexico but about the tradition of building with adobe but this is a would be a visual statement about that tradition. I've also done, um, these are, uh, I've done figurative drawing, I've taught drawing from the figure, I've done drawings of, of the human figure, the models, I'm quite adept at doing that, and then I add in color. This uh, leads to a way to make some, even a political statements, you know, of, uh, the primaries and the process. Uh, I've done, I have a master's degree in, in art from the ceramics department of the University of Colorado, Boulder. And, but this I made in Santa Fe, which I titled Baby Fukushima. And uh, although it's based on the omic uh, tradition of these baby uh, forms of gods, uh, but Fukushima is a very uh, modern problem that we all must face. I'm exploring the uh, oil on canvas and wire, but also just, this is oil on canvas. There's no wire involved, but I, I give the canvas a, a voice by adding dimension. It's liberated to speak. 
and again uh, the the archetype of the the human figure that uh, lends itself to an archetype that is in the language that I've developed uh, a vocabulary of the ladders as archetypes um, the birds the uh, human figure as out archetypes and um, these are the ideas that I've progressed into living in this space in, in uh, this retreat here in Santa Fe, Dogpatch Santa Fe and I've uh, included a little slideshow of the work that I've produced in that space and uh, very important ideas that um, I aim to take forward once I uh, find a, a bigger space to work in and uh, hopefully it will be in beautiful settings, a, a natural setting like I've been able to enjoy here in this little place that I've invited you to roam around like uh, like Leah has come and filmed and uh, seen from this chapter in my life that is leading to what I call the school of super modernism that I hope to establish as more than just a school of thought and I think that I'm unifying now that part of my life, this part of my life, um, that's what I've achieved here in terms of my thinking. And I live simply, but the art simplifies my life. And, and I gotta give thanks to all the things that God has given me and, and my parents uh, that have led me to know, know and appreciate the spirit of truth in our lives and uh, let it be an influence. That's what we all must do. Habibas! Habiba! Oh, she was taking a nap. Here she comes. <laughs> Habiba la fiesta. See, this is the only goat snack bar window in all of Santa Fe. That's my pet goat, you know. I've had her about three years.